check, check, check. Hello, happy Sunday. Let me just share the stream over on the Discord server and we'll jump right in. If I can find my own stream. Am I even live right now? Yes, I am. Hello, Replicator. Thor, what's going on? David. This is part 11 of the Evil Tactician Run. And today we're going to be focusing on the Gith Yankee Crash. Jenobi, hello. Penny. Shy Violet, hello. Hear you loud and clear? Okay. Well, let's waste no time. Yeah, if you're looking for other books that are based in Forgotten Realms lore, Silver, you gotta make sure that you look up books that are not just Dungeons and Dragons lore, but Forgotten Realms lore. So Forgotten Realms is the setting that contains the planet of Toril, and of course the continent of Faerun and Baldur's Gate. And specifically, if you want to get even closer to Baldur's Gate, look up authors that write in the setting of the Sword Coast. The Sword Coast is always going to relate to Baldur's Gate some way, shape, or form. Of course, R.A. Salvatore and his Legend of Drist book series takes place mostly in the Sword Coast, all the way down from the deserts in Kalimchan to the icy tundra in the north, Icewind Dale. And then Ed Greenwood created the care Ed Greenwood's the creator of the Forgotten Realms, actually. Back in the 60s is when he first created the setting when he was a kid. And he created the character called Elminster. Um... And you guys that have been watching my streams, this is no longer a spoiler, because I've already talked about this, but Elminster is actually in this game. Haven't seen him on this playthrough, and I think it might have to do with me not having Gale. I think Gale might be dead, actually, on my run. But yeah, look up Forgotten Realms authors, and you're going to find several of them. Ed Greenwood and Ari Salvatore are my personal favorites. Um, I haven't read really anything at all from any of the other authors, but I'm sure that they're good. Hey, Drew. So I've done all of Act 1, Shy. There might be one thing that I didn't do in Act 1, um, but I've done the Underdark, Grimforge, the Swamp, the Bladed Village, the Goblin Fortress, we raided the Druids, and now I'm in the Mountain Pass, towards the end of the Mountain Pass at the Gith Yankee Crash. So actually, this is still technically part of Act 1, I believe, even though Larian doesn't really divide it into Acts, technically. But yeah, we're finishing up the Mountain Pass today, and then I think tomorrow, um, or, or whenever I go live again, we're going to be focusing on the Shadow Cursed Lands. Even though I have already done the last lay in in the Shadow Cursed Lands, so keep that in mind. Jahira is dead, and I helped out Marcus take Isabel to Moonrise Towers. So I did do a little bit of Act 2 content. Okay, to the tavern. First playthrough is named Dingus Mingus. <laughs> nice. You want to learn as much as possible. Drist is the character I created for my first run. Nice. I'm still hoping that we see Drist in this game. Um, I haven't finished the game on my main run. I'm in the city right now, doing all sorts of stuff. And I was thinking I would see spoilers if he was in the game, like somebody would have said it by accident, or somebody would have posted a video on the YouTube homepage with a picture of Drist or something. I haven't seen anything yet, so he might not be in the game, I'm not sure. Oh man. Why does Tardis have a blue name right now? What the heck? Who is giving TARDIS power? Hey, Christopher. Sword Coast is the most written about portion of Faerun. Yep. Okay. I'll shut the hell up and we'll play this damn game. Have a case of restart, Teritis. <laughs> I'm at the character creation for the sixth time. Hey, Don, hey, Don's in the chat. What's up? Don did the same thing. Don's done like eight characters. <laughs> Hacked into my account. All right, well, be careful. Yeah, I didn't know Tardis was a mod of the channel now. So you got you guys be careful. Not sure what he's going to do to y'all. I didn't agree to this. Can I still ban Tardis? I don't know. You can try right now, Don. Cool. Okay. Let's dive into the Gith Yankee Crush. You guys will be happy to know I did some inventory organization. 
put a bunch of stuff in my adventuring packs. Before the stream started, added a bunch of items to wares. How delicious. We're looking pretty good now. I didn't quite finish, but looking much better than I was before. All right, to catch you all up. The Githyanki are looking for the artifact that we carry. They mentioned a Githyanki crash nearby. Perhaps we can learn more about what the artifact is there. The guards at the entrance to the Githyanki crash mentioned a captain. We should talk to these guards to find out more about what they're doing. Shadowheart has been gripped with intense pain from her wound on many occasions now. This could prove to become a liability if we cannot help her. bag of holding. There is a chest of, of mundane in this game that kind of acts like that. I might make a video on it soon. I don't have it on this character. We've reached the crash. Without Lazel's guidance, it may be harder to find the cure that she mentioned. The Lazel is dead on my playthrough. Shadowheart stuck a knife through her throat. Seriously. Not a joke. Sentries to arms! Istic! State your purpose quickly. How should we play this? You get Yankee hate, Illithid. I have proof that they're invading. We need your help. I can't remember my interaction with Voss. Oh, wow. That's a good start. Didn't think you'd let her stab Lazelle. I don't remember what I chose in that dialogue situation, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's not my fault. She stabbed her. You know what I'm saying? We are aware. And it is dire. But of late, we've been distracted. Perhaps the news you bring will change Inquisitor Wawargaz's mind. Seek the Inquisitor within. Step lightly, Istik. He's not known for his lenience. There's actually people that are watching my Let's Play series that are genuinely angry with me. Oh wait, is this a spoiler? I, would be I don't think it is. It's not a spoiler. That I let... Let me just... I'll keep this a little bit vague. People in my Let's Play series, in Act 2, that are genuinely angry with me that I let Shadowheart kill a certain artifact character. <laughs> and I actually tried to persuade her. And there's, there was a ho whole bunch of comments. I even got an email from a guy really angry at me that I let Shadowheart kill this person when I actually tried to persuade her not to do it. People are actually mad at me. It's crazy. I actually appreciate that because they're invested into my run. But it's like, it's not my character that did the killing. It was Shadowheart. It's not me. I'm letting my, my companions RP their lives a little bit too. You guys should see some of the email, like some people, it's, it's actually crazy. Okay, so we can't go in it. Let's talk to this guy real fast. You may proceed. You may shut the hell up. How about that, you stupid, flat-nosed, wrinkly alien? Yeah. I said it. Not afraid. Never wanted the easy path. I heard they're making us join the patrol soon. The search must be going badly. I also get emails from people that tell me, like, how wrong I am with the decisions I make. And I'm just thinking in my head, like, are you that dumb to really think that the decisions that you would make in this fantasy RPG are really better than what I would make? Do you really know that you should make a deal with the devil? Unless you've already played through it, which is stupid. You shouldn't be commenting then telling me what I should make as a decision. Like, it's just, it's just mind boggling. It, it, it's mind boggling. Okay, let's focus on the game. I don't want to get triggered right now. You guys are triggering me right now. Look at this. Lathander. God, that's so... Larian's attention to detail in this place is incredible. All right, we're going to take our time exploring the crush right now. Uh, there's Vlakith right there. We're going to search everything. 
Bad Nagato, thanks for the 20 pound super chat. Can't get enough of your playthroughs. It really is insane how encounters change based on what you do or who you are. A lot of people have been saying that as well. Like they'll watch my playthrough and it's nothing like the way that they played, which is super cool. What if they thanks don't a lot, find man. a weapon? Do we even know it? An istic? But, but you can't be here. I can't be seen with you. That's your cry. Quanny Rel, the Inquisition have more to worry about than who you talk to in the corridors. Inquisition, what are you talking about? Our queen's eyes and ears. They're her will incarnate, and right now, they're here. Okay, let's try a little deception here. I'm with the Inquisition. Tell me what you are gossiping about now. Nothing, Rascal. We were only talking about what you already know. About the weapon. The one the Kifrat can't find. Uh, Quanirel? Keep your mouth shut. You're going to get us in deep. Sniffer. <laughs> Where can I find the other Inquisitors? They're already searching for the weapon. You should report to Inquisitor Wargaz first. He's down the corridor in the Eastern Wing, on the other side of the Captain's quarters. It's like being watched over by Queen Vlakith herself. I love people gatekeeping fun. Still yeah, alive. that's exactly that's what progress. it is. It's like, I'm having a great time playing the game, making the decisions that I'm making. <laughs> What's the point of playing the game? It's to have fun, right? So who cares? Look at this, man. Small portrait of Vlacketh. It would be cool to have Lazel here, but what happened, happened. This imposing portrait depicts a powerful Githyanki warrior, undeniably regal in her mien. In the corner of the painting is a small symbol you can't quite place. draw a new face onto the board <laughs> i wanted to try this on my other run oh man oh god all right let's inspect the symbol more closely as hard as you rack your brain the symbol doesn't look like anything you've seen before Okay, Tate says draw a face. Let's try it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I feel like this might set the entire camp on my character. <laughs> this is the great thing about doing a second run, is you don't have to care as much. Okay, we got it. I love tragic stories, though. I think adding tragedy into the story makes it so much better. If everything was good, then it wouldn't be as fun. And I can tell you what, there is some tragic stories on my Let's Play series. You guys just don't know them yet because I haven't released those episodes. <laughs> oh my you take god! A moment to fully appreciate your masterpiece. My guy's a bit she mischievous. He looks a little less regal now. Oh, dude, that's hilarious. That's freaking great, man. I didn't even get caught. So I wonder what happened if I failed the dexterity check. I wonder if that would, like, turn the entire place against me. Okay, a guard inside the Gith Yankee crash told us to report to the captain. We're in no Stop. rush. Oh, I shit! Get rid of it before the Inquisitor sees. Uh-oh. Wasn't me. It was a Starion. It was this guy right here. This is the guy you need. This guy right here. Maybe I should report you to the Savash. Good. Already tragic. Well, this end. Well, I don't want to talk about the end of the game right now because that's I haven't finished it yet. So I guess I won't elaborate on that anymore. Rep. That they let outsiders into the crash sets a bad precedent. 
So, Gith Yankees sleep in beds too. How conventional. <laughs> That's some bunk beds for Gith Yankee. What business have you in a crash dormitory, Istic? Move along. True. My bad. What do you think about Act 3 of the game? Um, I don't know the endings yet, so I can't speak on that. But I will tell you, Act 3 has been one of my favorite experiences so far. I am loving Act 3 right now. As for the endings itself, I can't speak on that. But I've been taking my time in Act 3, doing the companion's quests, exploring buildings, doing some side quests, and it is so much fun. One of my favorite acts so far that I've ever experienced in a video game to date. And that might have a little bit to do with nostalgia. I'm not sure, but when I actually get the endings, I'll speak on that, but I can't speak on that right now. The purification process. The Zaytsk. A parasite. Take it. It might be useful. Anybody play with a controller? I plan on trying out controller after I finish my main character. Vertical incision from pineal eye to end of notochord. Intestinal coloration consistent with samples 231 to 259. Do you have a question? Or are you just going to stand there gawking? What are you hoping to learn from dissecting that thing? Nothing your kind is capable of understanding. The better question is, what brings an istic to my infirmary? I'm simply keen to learn, Gustiel Stornogus, and you seem a favorable teacher. What's up with my rolls today? I keep getting it right on the number. There's also several people that are commenting on my Let's Play series, just like straight up just conspiracy theorists on everything, like saying that I've reloaded, that I'm, I'm using cheating dice that I tried it a million times. There's no way I could have possibly gotten a 20. It's crazy, man. It's a crazy world we live in. And I'm legit just playing the game and letting things go and just whatever outcome is whatever outcome. I have no desire to teach. Though your request is understandable. You do not gain true knowledge by demanding it of others. It must be earned. Let's see what knowledge your labors have borne so far. Tell me, what is your understanding of Ceramorphosis? Hey Jack, what's up? What is your understanding of Ceramorphosis? So last time when I was here, um, I did get a, a roll of a 20 with Lazelle when she was doing the purification process and it saved her life. I'm assuming it saved her life. It was absolutely insane. One of the most intense moments of my gaming career. I'm not sure what's going to happen here since we don't have Lazelle, but... Please explain it to me. The stupidity encouraged on this plane never ceases to amaze me. Listen carefully. The tadpole is a parasite. Once it consumes enough of your brain matter, it instigates an excruciating transformation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Every fiber, every sinew of your being is torn apart and reformed into the repugnant flesh of a geish or illithid. That is Ceramorphosis. Thanks for that. Learn something new every day. A facile achievement for those who know so little to begin with. Don't know if I should reveal to all the Gith Yankee here that I have a tadpole in my brain. Knowing the Gith Yankee lore, their life mission is to kill mind flayers and decapitate them and bring those heads to their Queen Vlacketh. Probably not a good idea to just run in here There's and tell everybody uh, I have a parasite in you my brain, you know what I'm saying? Closer look. Oh. So weird having a different voice for my guardian. There's a parasite nearby. Oh, look at this. Okay. Oh, wow. There's two parasites in here. Looking ahead. It's 
space pirates? Yeah, kind of. Pretty accurate description, if you ask me. But we can click on the Zathisk. Just turn off all the lights in her room while she's studying. Hey, Rambles, thanks for the $2 super chat. Will Baldur's Gate win game of the year? I think it has a solid chance. And if you asked me before the game came out, I would have said no. Simply because it's more of a niche genre. But seeing all the headlines and everything, um, I think it definitely stands a chance. And I can see no world in which it doesn't at least get nominated. Sample 231. Observations. External presentation consistent with previous samples, but intestinal coloration is not. Internal fluids also appear discolored and infused with some sort of powerful magic. Magic type and purpose currently unknown. Notes. I need to spend some time in reading about the magic in this land. My studies in Tunarath, extensive as they are, do not cover what this magic is. These parasites are unusual. I'll need to retrieve similarly unusual samples in order to deduce a pattern. I'm going to move Astarian out here, just in case something happens and she realizes the tadpoles are gone. You stay out here, Astarian. Bad Astarian. What are you doing? The Zathisk is not a child's plaything. Oh, okay. If you require its services, speak to me. Otherwise, leave. Man, this is tempting. I could have one of my compa- Bruh, dude, we're gonna do something right now. We're gonna do something. Okay, I don't know if this is even possible. But you guys know Danton. He's a hireling. He hasn't been fully accepted into my group yet. Because my characters know that he's a stinking hireling. You know what I mean? He's not even real. This might be a good opportunity for Leon to not only get a little entertainment, but also just out of curiosity. Learning more about the tadpole in his brain. And if it can be extracted and killed, etc. This might be a good time for him to uh, to see what the Githyanki are onto here with this Zathisk. So let's go ahead and have a chat with her. I wonder if I can rat Danton out and say that he has a tadpole in his brain. Not quite sure. He's a real boy. Must you keep bothering me? If you have questions, read a book. Aw, oh, damn it. I have to tell her that I have a tadpole. Um, let me, let me F5. Must you keep bothering me? If you have questions... I have a confession. I've been tadpoled and I need help. You must be desperate. You know, I could speak with, my aid. with Danton himself. How long have you been infected? I'm doing that. We're going back. I already screwed it up. Hope you have scrolls of revivify. I don't think I do. Yeah, I'm gonna have Danton speak to her. A parasite brimming with magic. So basically, my character is gonna take Danton aside right now, and he's gonna tell him, "Hey, buddy, listen. You will tell her that you have a tadpole right now, or I will shove you off a cliff." You hear me, boy? You hear me, you stupid blue tiefling? Nobody likes you, anyways. Oh, okay. Okay, Leon. I'll do it. Vertical incision. Intestinal color. Do you have a question? Or are you just going to stand there gawking? I've got a tadpole that needs removing. Can you help me? You must be desperate to seek my aid. Tell me, how long have you been infected? Dan Tom looks back at Wolf right now. Not sure what to say. <laughs> A few days. I, I, I stopped counting when I ran out of fingers. Mm. A sign that your cognitive abilities are not so robust as they appear. Still, you appear to be functioning far beyond the capacity of others I've observed in your condition. How fascinating. Either your tadpole is special, or you are. We must find out which. Hey, Clayton. Thanks a lot. Disc. I will ensure you are cured. Oh, 
what will this Zathisk do? It will relieve you of the specimen lodged in your cerebral cortex. What else? It will be worth it, I assure you. Even Gig Yankee rarely experiences Zathisk. You are very lucky, Isdick. Hey, Leon, I, re I really don't want to do this. I'm uh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Shut the hell up, Blueby. Get into the Zathisk. Who will ever believe this? Go on. My time is vital. Do not squander it. Zathisk. This unnatural device offers your best chance of purification. You feel your parasite stir. Do not fear. My experience in operating this machine is unparalleled. There is nothing on any plane stronger than a Zathisk for curing unwanted afflictions. Will it hurt me? More than ceremorphosis. <laughs> Your body grows cold. Its warmth sapped by the cold metal seat. The machine awakens. You must focus on the parasite at all times. The Zathisk will do the rest. Layers of magic weave themselves tightly around your head. The tadpole squirms and contracts. It's trying to hide. The device possesses immense but unfocused power. If you fail to direct it towards the tadpole, your faculties could face permanent harm. Your skull groans and bends under the pressure. Agony. Follow the doctor's instruction. Seek the tadpole. Oh. Through waves of torment, you search for the parasite's lurking presence. The device searches too. You sense its hunger, its craving. It wants the tadpole. Maybe something more. That's it. Ignore the pain. Think of the tadpole. Think of it purged. This cure looks set to kill you. Get out! The parasite burrows deeper, sinking its teeth into your brain's exposed tissue. It sucks greedily. You feel yourself fading away, while the parasite only grows stronger. It's evolving. Stay calm. Guide the device closer. This is crazy. Get mommy. Hey, gold, what's up? That's it. You're almost there. The Zathisk never fails. The device yearns for the creature, for every part of you tainted by its presence. You will be consumed. The tadpole quivers. A different magic is building within it. This one is ancient. Rotten. No. No more. Danton, don't you stop now, boy. Keep going. Complete the extraction.
Desolate Gamer, thanks so much for becoming a channel member. Appreciate it. Finally, the device makes contact. You feel your spirit unraveling, drawn from you in sinewy threads. Your body is a leaden husk, abandoned as you drift along the threads into the darkness. Death awaits. Enough! <laughs> The room swims back into focus. Your mind is intact, yet unfamiliar. Inside it, the tadpole lives on, and you feel different. Dude, this game is crazy. No! The slave disc! What have you done? My life's work, gone, and yet you live. And so does your parasite. Her voice cuts with a fanatical edge, an obsession bordering on mania. If there's a chance the parasite lives, she wants it. Nobody speaks to Danton that way, except me. Nobody. Danton is my plaything. And you will die. Never liked them damn scientists anyways, you know what I mean? Step forward. Come here, Danton. You doing alright, buddy? This vessel is at thine disposal. Okay. Same old stupid Do Danton. What thou will. It was worth it. Aberration Hunter's Amulet. A Githyanki wearing this amulet has advantage on intelligence saving throws. Aberrations have also disadvantage on attack rolls against them. Aberrations have disadvantage on attack rolls against them. That's pretty good. Touch your amulet to assume a sliver of the knowledge of the Gith. You gain advantage on attack rolls against aberrations. Actually, a really good, really good uh, green item right there. Is that an amulet? <clears throat> Shadowheart, the gift Yankee. Okay, we should be getting the benefits of that. Not that it's going to matter in here. I don't think there's any aberrations in the gift Yankee crash, but... We need silence when you have magic. What good does science ever do to us? Science is overrated. Engineer class. Danton is my hireling gold. He's my hireling character, not an official companion in the game. Yes! 
Give me the power. Give me the power. Creatures suffering falling damage because of your actions take an additional 1 to 8 psychic damage. Or push anything and anyone back 20 feet. Repulsor. <laughs> Let's go. Careful. Scarion says, give me some too. Give me some tadpoles. Okay. I really like this charm one. I use it a lot. I might give it to a Starion too. Or we could do Force Tunnel. Force Tunnel's pretty cool. Or we could use a Starion to heal. Sacrifice half your remaining hit points to heal a target for the same amount. It's actually not a bad idea to have like a back liner like a Starion have something like this because he's typically not getting attacked as much as anybody on the front line. To be able to give that health to another character if needed and then also go back and hide in the shadows it actually might be quite useful. I wonder what the range is on it. 30 foot range? Um. Hmm. I'm going to take this one. Now both my characters have favorable beginnings and charm. And then we're going to let Astarion be the bait here. The, uh, the subject of experiment. <laughs> with the tadpole powers, we're going to go one further with him. He already has one, two, three. This is going to be Astarion's fourth tadpole power. And I think I actually am going to take Transfuse Health. Oh my god. Perilous Stakes. Invest a creature with power. Oh, now I want to go back with power that heals it when it attacks, but also makes it vulnerable to all... Invest a creature with power that heals it when it attacks, but also makes it vulnerable. Interesting. And then Shield of Thralls. Conjure a volatile shield around yourself or an ally, granting the target 10 temp HP. These temp points are lost due to incoming damage. The shield bursts, stunning nearby foes. Well, that was cool. I'm really happy that we tried the Zathus. I didn't think that it would be possible to survive that experiment. But if you pass all your saving throws, it doesn't actually kill you. But it did say that Danton lost all of his memory. So I wonder what that would happen if you did the Zathus with like a companion. Would Astarion forget who he is? Would Shadowheart have... Shadowheart already doesn't have a memory. <laughs> like what would happen? That's something that we, we should test out sometime. I'm not going to do it right now just because I would have to pass all those saving throws and it might take like an hour because I don't know if we'll get lucky again, but interesting. Okay, let's go to the next room. He's doing fine in here. Nobody knows. We'll lead the way with Shadowheart, our Gith Yankee. Great on Bear Bomb. Hey, is that my major hand? No, oh, it must be a Githyanki's. Did I call that in? Oh my god, a Gromishka came out, of, <laughs> came out of the chest. These things have magical allergies. If a spell or cantrip is cast close to the Gromishka, it might react to that magic. I thought I was in battle with the entire Githyanki crash, but they're on my side right now. All right, so we don't want to do magic when we're close to it. Let's just take a, take a shot. See ya. Damn, sneak attack's good. Uh, I don't know if Gal is dead. I didn't save him in the beginning. I didn't pull him out of the rock. And we haven't seen him since, so I'm assuming yes, but who knows, right? I feel like not a lot of people don't save the companions in the beginning. <laughs> so uh, I'm kind of testing that out right now. The dormitories. At the ready.
Okay, this has been a fun trip into the Githyanki crash so far. That's for <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> That's too funny. Uh, there should be two kids pushing the crate around with the mage hands. Oh, okay. Stuck on the astral plane. Nice. That's cool. Deception for memory loss. Lady Esther has asked that we steal an egg from the Githyanki. The Society of Brilliance wants to incubate it, raise it, and soothe its so-called violent nature. God, it smells awful in here. This is such a cool area right here. The hatchery. Incredible to be in a Githyanki hatchery. Step carefully, kin. Our hatchery is protected by lethal safeguards. I would hate to see you fall foul of them. Isn't that so cool? Because she's a Gith Yankee. He's telling her about that. How can I avoid these traps? Traps are not built to be avoided. True. Vash Koku designed every one himself, elegantly crafting this room to protect our young. You may speak to him if you wish, but do not approach the egg, lest you fall foul of me. Okay. Shadowheart turned into a gith. Softboiled gith Yankee eggs? Oh my god, Ian, seriously? I haven't seen Gale since I ignored him. I think he died in that rock. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, unless he shows up in Act 3. Sorry, why don't you go check this place out? Be careful. There are traps about. Oh, dude, what are you? Be careful. There are traps about. My face protects me. Don't you want to fight with your brothers and sisters? Well, hello. traps about oh why did that just scare the hell out of me holy crap my entire body was just jolted 
wasn't even scary. My bones hurt right now. Skull. Good afternoon, Shades. Able to convince him to give me the egg. Ooh. I do have some potions of mind reading, I think. <clears throat> Shit scared the crap out of me, man. Do not approach the egg, Istic. It is strictly forbidden. Please come out. There's no time to waste. You can oh, tell I did. Kithrak Therese okay. that my right, position has not changed. The egg requires more time. Furthermore. Oh. You are not from Kreshilek. What are you doing here? <laughs> oh, yes, it is Diet Coke. Diet Coke, caffeine free. <laughs> I came here to steal the egg. I'm curious about the egg that you guard. There is little to be curious about. It is taking its time hatching, nothing more. Most caretakers would not give the child its fair chance, but I shall. There could be greatness in that shell. You note that the hope in his voice is tinged with weariness. It's the voice of a man who's fought the inevitable for a long time. Don't have any invisibility scrolls or potions. I don't think I have the invisibility spell. That would make this a lot easier, wouldn't it? Michael Jackson. Alright, have a good night, Karn. Wish you could roll perception manually as well. Starion's not strong enough to jump over there. Um, is so cool isn't this game just so freaking cool man god man the just the possibilities of things you can do in this game oh I'm shit I was wondering why I didn't end my turn
wonder if this would... And that only had mage hand. I didn't realize that it only lasts for ten turns. All's well that ends. Yeah, not as bad as it could have. Took a Starion out of, uh... God, I really... Really needed that fly. A fly would have allowed me to come over here and grab it. I don't know if this is going to set these guys off. This guy's facing that way. She's... Okay. She's looking back this way. I have a lot on my mind and... Well, in it. No! No! Stop! Everybody stop! God, the freaking... I hate how hard it is to switch to different companions. <laughs> I hate it so much. Like, you double-click on the portrait and it doesn't always do it. Using the F1 through F4 keys, I feel like is a habit that I have to just get into. They're just so awkward to click on those keys. Maybe I'll have to reassign them to, like, I don't know, mouse buttons or something like that. You know what I mean? to view the birthing pools now. Time to rest. Traps. How considerate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
actions have consequences. In this case, a violent confrontation. Havrilk! Your future ends now! I tried doing it. I tried doing it in the peaceful way, but I failed, man. If I had that flying potion and I didn't realize I wasn't in turn-based mode, I feel like I could have grabbed it. Because we can see the trap here now. All I had to do was just navigate back and not go on top of that trap, and I could have grabbed it with a Starion. But we failed in our subterfuge. So it is what it is. We deal with the consequences. Here we go. Here we go. 41 HP, I could take this, take her out in one freaking, one attack right here. Actually. Yeah. You gotta be shitting me. Taking a cheat sheet for your Series X playthrough. All right, Danton, my buddy. Honestly, I might have to have you do Wild Shape, even though you're a Spore Druid. I know it's going to break our symbiotic entity, but you have a uh, Githyanki Warrior in your face right now. So we're going to Wild Shape. It's a rare occasion. Oh, damn it. I'm not a moon druid. Wild shape costs an action. Dude, you and your stupid counter spells. I swear to God. I swear to God, bucko. Sorry, what are you doing in the freaking cage? You gotta be shiting me right now. You serious, brother? Hey, DT, what's up? Finished it two hours ago. Can't wait to be done with exams and started. I'm loving it so far, man. Having such a good time in Act 3 on my other character. Man, I just did a mission that involves the Lord of Murder. I'll leave it at that. It was one of my favorite missions and environments I think I've ever seen in a CR. Definitely a CRPG. Up there in terms of RPG, too. Hey, a piff, what's up? Yeah, I'm excited for Starfield. I can't wait. Can't wait to, uh... I think at the very least, if Starfield, if it doesn't turn out as good as we hope, I think at the very least it'll still be enjoyable to, uh, explore space a little bit. Especially, Bethesda's really good at soundtracks. If I can get a little space exploration with an amazing soundtrack, I think I'll be satisfied. And uh, if we get an even better product than that, that has a lot more, then I'll be even happier. There we go. Look at these elithid powers. Yes. Okay, I missed. Damn it. This is not a good start. Okay, not bad. This guy's got freaking counterspell, man. It's so annoying. I don't know if I can do anything right now. I mean, he's using all the spell slots, but still. We'll do hacks to see if he counters it again. You know what's interesting is, um, I feel like Larian might have changed hex. Am I wrong in saying that? Disadvantage, hold on. Uh, do they make it more powerful? To damage to the target and give it disadvantage on ability on an ability of your choosing. If the target dies before the spell ends, you can hex a new. I think Larian buffed hex. I think it works for saving throws now. Damage to the target and give it disadvantage on ability of your choosing. Am I right in saying that? I don't. It used to be just ability checks, not saving throws. But disadvantage on an ability of your choosing does that also mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll have to test it out. My brain can't cut. My brain can't think about that right now. It might just be ability checks. Yeah, maybe maybe it maybe it is not. Maybe it's not saving throws too. The reason why I'm thinking that is just because like saving throws deal with an ability. 
you make a dexterity saving throw. I don't know, the wording's kind of weird. Aha! Damn, my sorcerer's about to die. Hold off on that. Are you kidding me? Modders will fix it. True. Okay. Oh, fungal infestation. All right, we got to start kicking some ass, man. This is this is no joke right now. So if I want a wild shape, I do have to do have to use an action. So do we have any potions of speed? It would be nice to get up a. I don't. It'd be nice to get up a concentration spell before I wild shape. But I think we're gonna have to wild shape. I'm gonna wild shape into the one and only. I'll bear. Yeah. I feel like it's worth I always feel like it's worth doing mirror image before you do spirit guardians. But I just can't resist right now. I have to go to the bathroom so bad right now, but I can't. I gotta beat this encounter first. Huzzah! You think it's an addition to saving throws, Syraxes? Yeah, before it didn't really matter like what, what hex you used because there's not a lot of ability checks in combat. You could use it to try to help a character stealth, for example, um, but most things in combat are saving throws, so I'll have to test that out and look more into it. Um, I probably could have looked in the combat log. Doesn't look doesn't look like it was made with disadvantage. Saving throw. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't work on saving throws. That's probably good. It would be insanely overpowered. But it doesn't look like it does, okay. Alright, what do we got here? What do we got here? Am I still using hex? Yes I am. Let's go ahead and just kill this Yankee. What? Are you kidding me? Guardian is one of the best spells in the game, in my opinion. It's so good. It is so underrated. It might be my favorite spell in all of Baldur's Gate 3. And that's why the Cleric is one of the most powerful classes, if not the most powerful class when it comes to combat. And versatility in combat. And the ability to do so much AoE damage. It's insane. You know what? Let's help out over here. This would be terrifying to have an owlbear jump. Oh my god. God, the owlbear form is so damn good. Spirit Guardians is even better if you can pop mirror image before you do it, because then people that attack you are going to have to go through your mirror images first, and it helps you keep Spirit Guardians up a lot longer. Um, it's just tempting, because you have to give up that action to cast mirror image, unless you cast it before combat begins. Because you want to cast Spirit Guardians as soon as you can. Right, where did this other guy go? Oh, he's over here? Come here. Come here. You little jackass. Oh, damn it. Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, we're going to dash. 
then we're gonna try to push him into the traps oh my god dude he just smacked his head on the freaking rock i could feel that i could feel that this feels kind of easy right now <laughs> had to double check make sure we're on tactician 70 percent 65 percent let's go with the we got to finish this guy off it's more important to finish him off 65 percent if i go up in his face 65 percent okay we'll just take a shot what does he have like death ward or something see ya see ya man scorching ray hex combo is just so good can't even explain to you guys how good it is I love Sorlock so far it's pretty good The damage is just insane. What? He doesn't go in prison? He's only got three HP. Okay, I have to run to the bathroom real fast, okay? And then we'll go get the Gith Yankee egg. Be right back. You guys want me to bring you to the waterfall or something? Where's our waterfall music? There we go. Hey, be right back. Just give me one second. Okay. Let me get my legs up. Anybody still here? Carly. Hello, Carly. How's your BG3 playthrough going?
Yes. Amis. Wait, 813,000 players today? How are we still doing that? Two weeks after launch, maybe even more. It's crazy. I wish I had a raven form right now. If I was a moon druid, I would. Don't touch me. Things have stayed interesting. Six surfaces don't affect you. Be nice. Hey Shannon, what's up? We're at the Gith Yankee crash right now. Boiling up some hard boiled eggs. Actually, scrambled eggs. <laughs> Breathe deep and move. Man, look at this. I don't know if I came to this little mini camp before. Sorry, what the hell are you doing over there, man? Jesus. You gotta be kidding me. Still 
Still breathing, despite everything. Let me just see where this load point is. You guys want me to save scum it? You guys want me to save the egg so I can turn it in so we can see what happens? Let me just see. If I have to do combat again, then I'm not doing it. Okay. Nope. It is what it is. I could try convincing him. You guys want it? Okay. Hold on. Let me go back and see if I can do a persuasion check. Let's go back to that load point go to this one right here hatch the egg I don't know how to hatch the egg how many levels am I going to take in warlock I'm not entirely sure yet good question note that the hope in his voice is why do you care so much about a dud us. egg it's the voice of a man who's fought the inevitable for a long time It is a dangerous world out there. I'm sure you know that. We cannot afford to discard warriors because we are simply... Time for you to leave, I... Come on now. You can tell Kithrak Thera you are not from Kreshilek. What are you doing here? Most caretakers would You note that the hope in his voice is tinged with weariness. It's the voice of a man who's fought the inevitable for a long time. I want to use charm person because they they can turn against you. What the hell? Let's see what happens. Ooh. But all that arrived late are weak. I created this entire hatchery, despite being the last of my clutch to They almost drowned me in the hatching. This one deserves the same chance. Okay. Let me help. I can take it somewhere safe. Oh, baby. Charm person's working out pretty good right here. What? to start swinging right now i'm about to start swinging okay one more inspiration point thank god holy crap they can get mad if the spell wears off yeah we're gonna Again. Worst dice roller on YouTube. 
<laughs> okay, let's do this. You note that the hope in his voice we is got this. tinged we got with this. weariness. It's the voice of a man who's fought the inevitable for a long time. Not all that arrive late are weak. I created this entire hatchery. Despite okay, okay, gotcha, butter. This one deserves the same chance. Got it. Too easy. You? You've no vast instincts about you at all. Still, the captain's due for an inspection any day now. And if she sees it here, tell me. What will you do with it if I entrust it to you? I wonder if this would work if I was doing a non gith Yankee, if Shadowheart wasn't under disguised self, if he would give it to a non gith Yankee. I'll see that it becomes the greatest Gake Slayer you've ever seen. Not an easy task, and far harder without a crash to train it in. First try, easy. But you've a spirit about you that's quite inspiring. Perhaps even equal to the challenge. I can no longer ignore that Kithrak Thurizen's patience has its limits. Very well. Here. Take these. They will aid your approach to the egg. Reach out and touch the egg. The egg is warm to the touch. The rough shell like slate beneath your fingers. Whatever is within is stirring ever so slightly. Large, you can see a Why can't I pick it up? outline of something within it. The egg is whatever is within is stirring. Okay, there we go. He gave you the egg as a drow? Okay, interesting. Guy's hair is really well done. You guys remember I fought her, but we used the non-lethal damage and now we're friends again? Stop there! Not one step further! Now hold on though. I wonder I if- I left your stupid crash while you're still chasing me. I don't even want your bloody eggs! Oh. Calm yourself. I am not chasing you. You! You're not from the crash. Oh, okay. how fortuitous. And not just because you're not trying to kill me. Because I'm playing as a Gith Yankee with Shadow. It this changes could everything. This be an auspicious meeting, come to think of it. I was hoping to meet our friendly Giths. So cool how different it is. And why is that? I was given a task. One surprisingly difficult for someone like me. And yet it would be simply I need a gift Yankee egg, which may sound a little unsavory, but I swear this is all. How much will I get? Inside that temple, 
lies one of your creches, which I gather has its very own hatchery, presumably chock full of it. The Society of Brilliance supplied me with an ample purse to buy an egg for their studies. Bring... So, what do you say? I already have an egg. Here. So what I'm wondering is if I bring this egg to the Underdark and give it to Blurg, you think that would do anything? Hold on, can I? Let's tr let's try two things here. Let's give her the egg. You've had one the entire time and didn't say a word. Well, I suppose a spot of conversation never goes amiss. Here's your reward. Better be like one k gold. You've proven an exceptionally efficient friend today. I hope we can work together again. Mitch, thanks for the $2 super chat. So close to finishing this game, so good. I agree. And then with the 10 gifted memberships. Okay, welcome to the 10 new members. Thank you so much, Mitch. Awfully generous. Thanks, man. 438 gold for stealing a gift Yankee egg. You shitting me? All right, now we're going to try something else. I want to see if we go to the Underdark and give and talk to Blurg, who is part of the Society of Brilliance. I wonder if we can give him the egg. You gonna try to raise it as your own? So, what do you say? No, of course. Should you change your? Loading screens are so good in this game. Thanks, Mitch. Skull to Mitch. I know, right? It's crazy stuff. Fish face dooms Cosmo Mike Knox Snack Daddy Totally Not Evil Ashton and Reaper Roan. You all are now channel members. Thanks to Mitch. Can you actually raise the egg in this game? Can you hatch it? Okay, let's um let's chat with Blurg here. Let's just see if this is a possibility. Because this is a member of the Society of Brilliance. Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. I've never seen a hard goblin like you before. The feeling is mutual, friend. I have only passing familiarity with the surface races. But I found that there is as much to learn from an individual as there is from a community. So it is with the Myconids. They live in harmonious unity. But each has a unique personality. So I'm going to do this entire dialogue. My and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. Thanks, what Justin. What has brought you down so deep? I'm going to do this entire dialogue because last time I did, I deceived him with my sorcerer character. This is a little bit different. Shadowheart's actually speaking to this guy and not lying to him. Appreciate it, Justin R. Welcome to the welcome to the membership club. Anzac, thanks for the five dollar super chat. What did I miss? Uh I sort of threw a Gith Yankee egg and it broke. And then I reloaded. Now we're trying to turn in the egg to the Society of Brilliance. A mind flare infected me with a tadpole. Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? Okay, let's tell him the whole story. You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Omelium! I hope this is important, Blurg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside her head. But she hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis. Oh, he's been remodeled. That's impossible, but intriguing. Damn, he looks crazy. Are you looking to have it extracted? Uh, my mage hand's ability comes from a piece of gear, I believe. That's the reason why it's on a short rest. An Elithid is your friend? 
How is that possible? I have broken free from the Elder Brain's yoke. I no longer serve the grand design. So cool. I ask that you refrain from violence. While I respect that your opinion of my kind may not change. What is the grand design? A collective quest to eliminate the Gith and enslave all other humanoids. If that settles matters for the time being, would you like a diagnosis? Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. Okay, let's relax and let Omelium's mind search our own. This would be funny as a Gith Yankee to talk to Omelium. As mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete. As should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. And what happens if that stasis goes away? I can only theorize, but I suspect your transformation would be both agonizing and instantaneous. I thought it was always agonizing, Amelium. Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. Can you extract the tadpole? No. It appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. That's the Society of Brilliance and logo right there. The, shield, the extraction would involve severe cranial trauma. Ooh, cleric. How severe? I have healing magic. I intend no disrespect, but one can only heal so much of their own brain tissue. But not to worry. Should you transform? Thanks, Justin. Congrats. I will happily perform a new examination. Awesome. Tell Amelum about the strange mind flare ship you were on. A Nautiloid? Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. Thanks for the information. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal. But I have an idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Bypass? What kind of alchemy are we talking about? A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh ton of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Look at his brain, dude. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. <laughs> the tongue is self-explanatory. The freaking tentacles. Larian definitely improved the animations quite a lot. Where do I find these mushrooms? The Underdark, of course, although they are quite rare. And their discovery, perilous. 17 revivify scrolls. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. Yeah, this is my second run. Yuck. My second character. I'm doing an evil run with this character. Um, but I'm not as serious. Not as serious about 
save scumming as I am on my first character. So we're kind of playing around a little bit now. I want to make sure that we try different things for my first run. Rick, random naked tiefling bard runs across the screen. I'm free to roam your playthroughs now as well. Why would a cleric have a bunch of dangerous mushrooms? She is quite fond of her garden. Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Uh, nature was her only companion. I offered her the chance to join the society, but she refused. Her experiments on Sousa Bark took priority. Doesn't look like it's going to let us give him the egg. May your travels be safe and swift. Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? Yes. There is rare magic in the Underdark, too. Fair's rest. This is not a wasteland. It is a glorious e I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Whereas movement speed is unimpeded by difficult terrain. You get that as a ranger, I think, at level 8, 9, or 10. Is nice. Combine that with plant growth, you can run around the battlefield while everybody else can barely move. Shoot an additional dart whenever you cast magic missile. Pretty good. Didn't they used to be three darts? Or did something? It made like each dart more powerful. I think they nerfed it a little bit. Very well. How is your morgue? Damn. I don't know if I even want it now. Get shatter with a sentient amulet that I have to turn in in Act 3. Having shatter that doesn't cost a spell slot is really powerful. Okay, I don't think we're going to get to... Um, I don't think we're going to be able to turn in the egg with these guys. It was worth a try, though. We've already done the arcane tower. We need a tongue of madness and Tamask spores. I have a tongue of madness. Can you imagine a sorcerer thief with that headband casting quickened high level magic missiles? Thanks, Rick. Appreciate it. Get some sleep, man. Four and a half hours. Holy crap. Give, give the egg to someone in the third act, you're thinking? Okay, maybe, maybe we'll do that then. Ah, oh, crap. Can I not grab one of these Tamas spores here? What did I just do? Why is my whole inventory? I think we're bugged out right now. Alright, I'll tell you what, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back here. We're just gonna keep the egg. It was nice to do that, uh... It was nice to hear Omelium and Blurg speak again. Because last time I deceived them. We've already done that quest like a million times. So, okay. What do you say? We're gonna hang on to the egg. See you later, loser. Let's go back to the Githyanki crash. Wait, I didn't unlock the... Damn it, I didn't unlock the waypoint in the crash. Gotta be kidding me. I've not slept since this game came out. 150 hours in, taking my time. Nice. Isn't there so much to do in the city? It's crazy. Most disgusting multi-class? Moon Druid Barbarian?
Give the egg to your custom character? Why are you saying that? surprised that the Git's insane device didn't remove our tadpoles. I'm just disappointed. Nobody asked you, Astarion. Okay, let's unlock the waypoint in here. I'm still a Githyanki on this one. Nice. Okay, now let's go check out what's going on in this room up here. Some really interesting lore behind the Githyanki here. And Larian was given the opportunity, probably working alongside Wizards of the Coast, to expand and answer some questions on Githyanki lore that have never been answered before. There's several cases of this. Also, Larian's story tells a lot about Netherese magic and the Netherese Perhaps empire. And this game gives brain. information is that, that is was not known in Forgotten Realms lore. One of the big reasons why I love this game so much. Let's get going. All right, so right now, um, Leo can see this guy getting picked on by his own people. And you guys know that Leo, or Leon? Leo, Leo. Sh Leo short for Leo. Leo Leo's short for Leon. Um, Leon might have a little soft spot in his heart here for this Githyanki right here, just because of my this troubled past with my own race. So let's see how we handle this. Shocky, why do you keep hesitating? My instructions were clear. Because... Because they don't make sense. Killing each other like this. It's stupid. Or for your... Silence! It seems your childish prattling is attracting an audience. You fight again. This time, daggers only. And to the death, as instructed. Who wants to challenge this sniveling Istark? Leave the boy alone. You made your point. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Gonna use all my inspiration to save this Get the Yankee child? The dice are not on our side today. That's for damn sure. Holy crap. Come on. Let's go. Just need like a 16. Okay, there we go. The sign. I suppose your inane spewings have distracted enough from my lesson. <clears throat> go with the swords. I want them sharp enough to peel a geek's eyeball just by looking at them. I hope you prove as weak as this should we meet on the battlefield, Istik. Piss, did you just say to me? That was amazing. Uh, I've never seen someone talk the Savage down from a rage like that. He's always telling us how we have to be ruthless, that death is the only mercy we deliver. But you... you showed compassion and kindness. You're just like... I don't know if Never I go mind. that far. I don't know if I would go that far, my friend. I've done some horrible things in my past. Just like who? If there's a like-minded soul here, I'd love to meet them. Get a little information. A little inside information. Monk tavern brawler thief with gauntlets of ogre power? I speak of... of Orpheus. The true prince. He's so strong... And, and wise, and he rides a comet. <laughs> a comet! We're forbidden to talk about him. They say Vlachith knows if you even think his name. I found his book. Part of it anyway. I read it all the time. He's unbelievable. So you have the Githyanki that support Vlachith, the Lich Queen. 
who claims that she's a goddess over the Githyanki. And then more of the underground Githyanki that support Orpheus. I don't want to give away too much about where Orpheus is right now. Because some of you guys might not be caught up on my other series, or you might not have watched the entire game yet, or played the entire game. But yeah, and we don't know much about Orpheus at this point. I think this is actually Larian Studios canon lore that they're introducing to Forgotten Realms. Where can I get this, or where did you get this book? A group of warriors came. Outsiders. On a mission for Vlakith herself. Savash Kethk made us clean their armor. And I found it. Inside one of the breastplates. Wish I knew who it belonged to. I have so many questions. Hopefully, one day I'll find them. Sounds like quite the book. Can I have it? You want... But I... I... You endanger yourself by carrying this around. It must be disposed of. Fine. Take it. It's so stupid we can't read it. It's just a story. It's not even true. I'll do my best to forget what it said. Thank you for taking it. Will. We attempted to remove our parasites from the purification device, but it failed and almost killed us. It's clear that the parasites are coming from Moonrise Towers. I can't wait to go to Moonrise Towers as a character that supports the Absolute. That's going to be incredible. We learned of an egg being kept in the Githyanki hatchery. Yeah, we already took that egg. Lazel has died. Wonder if I should read this away from everybody. Oops. Did you see that? What a wimp. I'm way braver than Val. I wonder if reading that book like out in the open would actually get you in trouble. I'm not sure. So we're going to go We're going to go over here. I'm doing all the quests in this run. Doing quite a few. Okay, Orpheus, Prince of the Comet, Part 2, Sacrifice. The Prince of the Comet, Orpheus himself, led his honor guard into battle. Their red dragons bellowed with righteous anger, and the heavens erupted. The glorious prince cried to all who could hear him, Praise be to my mother Gith, the queen of the one sky, sacrificed to the hells by the renegade Vlacketh. But the true heir the Prince of the Comet could not overcome, Vlacketh's knights and their ill-gotten worms, mighty Voss, Kithrak, lit the astral sky aflame. When the ash had cleared, beloved Orpheus was gone. Mighty Voss lit the astral sky aflame. When the ash had cleared, beloved Orpheus was gone. Orpheus was Gith's son. And Gith was the Gith Yankee that led the rebellion against the Mind Flayers when they were enslaved to the Mind Flayers for thousands of years. Led the successful rebellion from the Mind Flayers. And basically, the Gith, the Gith were freed as a race. And then they divided into the Gith Yankee and the Gith Zerai. And um, Gith was then sent to the Hells to make a pact with Tiamat the evil goddess of dragons, and never returned. And Orpheus is Gith's son. 
And this entire plan was hatched by Vlacketh, who then took control of the Gith race. After, after Gith went missing. It's so confusing because you have a character named Gith, but then you have the Gith race as a whole, which is split into the Gith Yankee and the Gith Zerai. I'm going to have to do an updated video on Gith Yankee lore sometime uh, with all this new information. How come I don't have a single item with Misty Step? Because I don't want one. That's why I hate Misty Step. It's the worst spell in the game. It's a horrible spell. Such a waste of a spell slot and a bonus action. That's a joke, by the way. The moment with the omelet. <laughs> Still in Act 2? I mean, this is technically Act 1, I think. The Mountain Pass is still part of Act 1. On this run, my other character's in Act 3. Oh man, I don't think I ever came into this room. Quarter Mistress. This should be interesting. What's next? Ugh, blood, Gonna give me 10 angry emails. Scar? Is there no odious substance not smeared on this delivery? The filth of these people. Unbelievable. That's an impressive collection, Ken. Perhaps we might trade. Impressive? Not the word I would use, but to each their own. Kind of looks like Triss from The Witcher. Gloves of Dexterity. Wow. Increase the wearer's deck score to 18. Dude. Holy crap. These gloves are really good for any class, literally any class, even a strength-based class. That's actually insane. Knife of the Undermountain King, the dagger. Wielder scores a critical hit when rolling a 19. When they roll two or less, they re-roll. You have advantage on attack rolls against lightly or heavily obscured targets. Sounds like a char weapon right there. Where it gains a plus one bonus to spell attack rolls. Your ranged spell attacks are made as melee spell attacks when you are adjacent to a hostile creature. When the wearer casts a spell that requires... There's some really good gear at this quarter mistress. I didn't even talk to the quarter mistress on my other character. Anything. Okay, so who could benefit the most from a dex of 18? You could literally do like entire builds around getting these items. Shadow has a 14 dex, so she's getting the max that she can out of her armor class bonus because we're wearing medium armor, so we do get that plus two. Um, Leon's got a 16. No one back home Danton, 15. Damn, no, nobody in my party really needs it. <laughs> I'll tell you who I'll tell you who's gonna really benefit from that is Minthara when I get her in my group. Because I'm gonna have her spec as a strength-based paladin. And to give her 18 dexterity, that's gonna be crazy. She's gonna be first in the order of turns. Alright, well, so for now let's put yes. it on. Gain a plus two to armor class, as long as you're not wearing armor or holding a shield. That's actually pretty good too. So really dude, there's so many good items in this game. It's crazy. All right, Danton's at 15, so I feel like he could probably benefit the most. But then again, Shadowheart would be nice going earlier in the order of turns to cast Mirror Image and Spirit Guardians. When you heal another creature, it gains resistance against bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage dealt by weapon attacks. That's pretty good. But I'm going to give her the gloves. 18 decks. Nice. The where summoned creature has resistance to all damage. The Abyss Beckoners. We don't have any too many we don't have too many summon creatures at the moment, so. I have to keep Bub bug. We'll cheer up when we find it. I think we when this pestilence search is finally over.
thought I was broken. Please, Chitrai, I can explain. The latest batch of cultists knew nothing of the astral prism. They were just trying to find Moonrise. They all head there. My Gish have drafted plans to assault the tower. They are ready to fight, Chitrai. We could sift the missing artifact from the tower's ashes if you would give us... Quiet. Find the astral prism, Therizin. My patience falters. Yes, Chirai. You heard him! Go! I didn't do the Minthara quest yet. I'm gonna do that next do what session. She, says. she remains your Kithrak. For now. Lazelle's dead. Shadowheart killed her. You've something to say. Speak to the Kithrak. Shadowheart's frightened. You are not familiar to me, Rastil. Do you bring news Kithrak of the means weapon? dragon rider, like the knights of the Githyanki. The Gish are like the casters of the Githyanki society. Kithrak's a title. Bring news of the weapon. This is cool. So we have get Yankee responses here. Weapon, I seek aid. We should be fighting the Gake incursion. You ask me? I would relish nothing more than burning the Gake threat from this rock. We know infected flock to Moonrise Towers. I reported the gathering masses back to Tunarath. In response, they sent an Inquisitor. Instead of ordering an assault, we were told to join in this mad hunt for an ancient relic. <sighs> Inquisitor Wawargaz has the Queen's ear, so we have no choice but to follow him in this folly. If the Inquisition seeks this weapon, it must be vital. Tell me of it. It is small, angular, metal, adorned with Tiersu script. Stolen by true soul heretics. You realize she seeks the artifact you carry. What was that look? You know something. Do you have it? Oh, I just need to know what happens. We're going to do this. We're going to we're going to tell her that we found the weapon we seek. Very, very curious as to what's going to happen. Um, does it fit the RP of this run, though? My character's seeking power. I don't think my character would want to give up the artifact at this point in the story. Unless the Githyanki promised him something great. But there could be a good reason for my character to give up the artifact later on, because we are going to be pursuing more power through the tadpoles. And the artifact is pushing against the absolute in the tadpoles. But actually, hold on. Hold on, let's think about this. Back in Act 1, we had the visions of the Chosen of the Absolute. And the Githyanki artifact pr protected us from those visions and ended the Absolute speaking to us. So my character at this point in the story might actually be willing to give up the artifact. I have found the weapon we seek. Give it to me. Produce the artifact. No, no. Yes, there it is, exactly as described. The Inquisition will finally come to an end. Oh. Trickery? Heresy? How did you... You manipulate it when I cannot? It won't leave us. It appears you have been chosen, Vin Isk. How lucky you are. Take the weapon yourself, then. Seek the Chupri below. The captain is looking for the artifact we carry. We should speak to her and see what we can find out. The Inquisitor awaits. 
Follow the corridor. Create a save point, temp, temp channel. Create a save point and try it out and see what happens. Shadow synergizes with Great Weapon Master because of Bless. Yeah, having somebody, a character cast Bless with a Great Weapon Master is really good. Or you can just be playing as a Barbarian and take Great Weapon Master, and then you have Reckless Attack. Barbarian and Great Weapon Master is such a powerful combination in this game. Actually, unbelievable. We read a forbidden book about a certain Prince Orpheus. He seems to be a challenger to the Queen Vlacketh and the son of Gith, the one who freed the Githyanki from the Mind Flayers. On my other run, I actually had to pickpocket her to get through this door, but now we're just being let right in. This way. Think I'll do a murder hobo run? Yeah, at some point when I start Charming getting sick of the case. game, I'll just start killing everything. Makes the rest of the crash look like, well, a non gith Yankee crash. I agree. It'll be good to get out of this place. This Inquisitor sounds like a real piece of work. Do you think he'll answer our questions? I'll keep an open mind. But I'll also keep my hand near a weapon. Statues of the Morning Lord, Lathander, holding a baby up to the sun. If not over, then through. Hey, Smoking. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Its power is endless. Her patience is not. Approach. I won't ask again. What'd you just say to me? What I thought. Interesting. My Ardens reported that an Istic survived the crashed Geich slave vessel. You have accomplished much since. I'm pleased to finally meet you. I heard enough druids died by your hands to make the deity Sylvanus <laughs> himself weep. <laughs> to business. That's awesome. I suspect you plucked something precious from the Geek ship. Hey, Turkey Bird. Something that belongs to us. The weapon. Give it to me. Don't do it. The weapon is how I protect you. Produce the artifact. Getting sick of this voice in my head. So, it is found. Vlaketh. The Lich Queen. Vlaketh Gorg Shkathzai. Malignant flame crosses your vision as your patron borrows your gaze, sizing up the vision in front of you. Not exactly a god, but not far off. Your patron recoils. Wow. But not before leaving a word of advice. Wow. Caution. Our class. You are permitted oh. to look I'll upon be quiet. me. You are invited to kneel. Our patron, as a warlock multi-class, is warning us about things. That's super cool. One level into warlock did that. Okay, we're gonna listen to our patron. Our Dragonborn's, uh, he might be evil, 
But he's not exactly stupid. Sometimes he is. Are you gonna kiss me? You bear that which is ours. But are you friend? Or are you thief? Does it matter? I brought it back to you. That is no answer to my question. Hmm. Hmm. At least you brought it back. It is a start. We will test you. To assess whether you deserve reward or punishment. So different. The it's crazy. astral prison. It is corrupted. I shall cleanse it for you, my queen. Tell me. Shut how. up, Baldy. Silence, Wobogas. Thank you, Blacka. <laughs> there is someone inside. Their mind is warped, broken, a blight. They are an agent of the Grand Design, sent to sabotage the Astral Prison. Our last defense against the return of the Alithid Empire. As long as they live. The prison is compromised. Find the one inside and kill him. Be aware. They are not alone and they will appeal to your trust. They are not to be believed. You must accept. Refuse and know my fury. I will do as you wish, Queen Blacka. Wouldn't be a bad you idea to have Blacka on our side. Power to enter the prison. Be wary of the creature's lying tongue. Cut it out if you must. An Istic, a crusader for my queen, unimaginable. You are blessed, Istic. Do not fail her. You guys ready for this? I already did that on my other run, Mitch. We're doing things differently this time. Don't do it. Hey Gregory, what's up? Heat pulses out of the astral prism as it begins to flower. Something tells me what I'm doing right now. Not many other players have chosen to do. This is so cool to be on the astral plane. I was flipping out when I first experienced this. This is amazing. Armor and cape combo work well. compressed in a fold a pocket of astral plane so cool the it's astral plane no dangerous things often are where time barely moves and this is the home to the Gith Yankee race this is where they live and the reason why their crushes are not kept in the astral plane is because their egg eggs won't hatch when you're in the astral plane because time pretty much doesn't move. So they create the crushes on the material plane and then they raise their Githyanki there. And then when their Githyanki complete their rites of passage, they can return to the astral plane and join their adult society. So crazy how good it looks. Isn't that crazy? The 
corpse has nothing to say. Is that blood? Not Elden Ring, but it's very good. Oh, never mind. Comparing BG3 and Elden Ring? Both fantastic games. They're so different from each other. Such different games that I would never even compare the two. I love them both so much. Like they're not even close in comparison to each other in terms of style of game. Moving ahead. Still alive, so that's progress. So you came, in spite of all my warnings. Disappointing. Come, we will talk in private. Just the two of us. I may have made a mistake trusting you. I told you to stay away from the Githyanki. But you just couldn't help yourself. Could you? And now... You've come here to murder me. Blacketh told me you're an agent of the Illithid Grand Design. <laughs> I told you I stole the artifact from someone. Well... I stole it from Blackith. Since then, she has become desperate. Blackith wants me dead because I know her secret. It is a secret so great that if her people ever found out, that would be the end of her rule, the end of her. That same secret is how I've been protecting you from the Absolute. I can hear your thoughts. You think I'm lying. Blackith warned you that I would try to deceive you. But consider this. What reason have I to deceive you? I want the same thing as you. Freedom. I'm on your side. I have been since the very beginning. Don't you understand? I serve the Absolute. You have to die. I really thought you wouldn't. We could have been so much more. You had to choose this. So, you are not to be trusted. I don't intend to make a habit of conversing with my killer, so I will be brief. Your survival depends on mine and mine on yours. It's less than ideal, but it is where we stand. I know a secret that Blacketh never wants to be revealed. It is the reason she mobilized her people to retrieve the Astral Prism. It is why she sent you to kill me, and why she will kill you once you leave this place. Since we are both dependent on your ability to survive that, you would do well to remember that without me, you would become a Mind Flayer. What's wrong with that? Now leave. 
I have a battle to return to. Wow. I had no idea what was going to happen when I tried killing the Guardian. No idea that that was going to happen. I can't talk right now. Now's not the time. My queen spoke to me. You have failed. Your death has been decreed. I don't know what you mean. I killed the person inside. No way that works. Since my queen does not lie, I must assume you do. To your death, then. You freaking gotta be shiting me. Yilik, with me. Oh, great. Oh, great, 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 great. I love the battle music here. I wonder if there's any way to not get into combat with this guy when you do that. Do 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 satisfied with the current state of bg3 um yes everything i've played on my other character has been pretty great so far on the review copy i ran into quite a few bugs that were really bad but they seem to have gotten much better ever since i updated to version 1.0 on august 3rd i mean there's several things that i could critique and there's uh, there's several things that i don't like about the game um and i'll talk about that in a future video but like generally speaking this is definitely one of my favorite games of all time hands down no ifs, ands, or buts. All right, let's, um... <sighs> too many hor uh, One of my critiques is too many horny characters in this game. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it too much because it's going to be spoilers, but there's characters later on in the game that try to bang you and it doesn't even make any sense. Okay, let's um You know, uh, in act 3, um no, I'm not talking about companions. Uh the companions too. The companions are too romancy in my opinion. There should be like something in the beginning where you can kind of like choose to not have characters pursue you romantically or maybe just leave a couple that will um but no, Act 3 is working pretty good for me. Ever since I switched from DirectX to Vulcan, from Vulcan, Act 3 is working great on my computer. So when I first entered the city for the first time, it was real FPS. -y. It was really, really low on FPS, sudden bursts of like dropped frames and super stuttery. But then when I switched, it was working pretty good. So. All right, let's... um. Let's 
scroll of slow I don't know if hold, hold person oh it does hold person would be so good on a Githy Yankee right now it would be so good I could take one dude out in one turn problem is it's only 35% on this character I think I'm gonna try it you gotta be kidding me Get more crashes on Vulcan than DirectX 11. Read 100% on how much emphasis was placed on the romance side of things for the companions. Yeah, I think Larian does a really good job with the romance. Um, I think the scenes are incredible. And, you know, they probably take romance to an entirely new level. But it seems like every character is just a horny bastard. <laughs> and it kind of kills the RP a little bit. And you guys will see later on in the game, there's another character. <laughs> it was almost comical. There's another character that tries banging you. And it's, just, it's so unnecessary. It's actually really funny, but some of you guys don't know who I'm talking about. Let's just say it's not uh, its not a normal creature that you would expect uh, wanting to. Uh, <laughs> it was pretty funny when I saw it. All right, let's go. Uh, I got to focus in. Let me focus in on this fight. We'll get it done, and then we'll talk about things, okay? I'm multitasking too much right now. All right, here we go. Let's do... Um, hmm... Fairy fire would be super nice too. 60%. 60% on all these guys. Interesting. I can only get two. 60% on him too. <laughs> I think I'm going to try it. Of course. Didn't work on the commander, but that's fine. Okay. Let's. Um, fungal infestation is not going to work. Let's do. Halo of spores on this character close to me. That didn't work. This is a really bad start. One target at a time. So let's finish off this character right here. See ya. You know who I'm speaking of right now? <laughs> yeah. The scene starts, the dude has his shirt off. I'm like, what's going on, man? It's not even a dude, actually. It's a creature that doesn't have a sex. And it has a... Uh... Nope, I can't, I can't ruin it for you guys. I'm done, I'm done talking. All right, let's see. Spirit Guardian's time. I wonder if I should have done Necrotic or if I should have done, uh... Do, 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 do. It doesn't really matter. I think we're fine here. Okay. Let's take advantage of this, though. Try to get as many creatures as we can in it. We'll hit the boss right now for one. Mitch, thanks for $20 Super Chat. Seems like everyone puts out... Puts out but Shadow. That has been slow and I'm working hard. Also, I'm trying out a few homosexual romances to see how I like it. If it goes over, well, I might try it IRL. Hell yeah, Mitch! Thanks for the 20, man. There you go, man. Experiment in the video game. <laughs> Timothy, thanks for the $5. On my third playthrough now, your streams inspired me to start an evil tactician run. Wish me luck in our goblin raid. Godspeed to you, adventure. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Missile snaring for the win, baby. So powerful. I don't know if I'm ever going to take missile snaring off, to be quite honest with you. All right. So we got one down right here. We got 41 HP. The boss is at 145 on the Inquisitor. Okay. I think we're going to go for... All out fireball just on the boss himself, or should I go for the ads first? I don't know what I want to do right now. Um, we could. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Honestly, I think this is worth it. I actually think this is worth it. Um, I should use hex first. Let's do hex on. Let's do it on this character. And then let's go quicken. Oop. 
What do I just do? Oh no! What do I, hold on, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Disadvantage right now. This freaking guy in my face. All right, we're gonna hold off. We're gonna hold off on that. Let's. Honestly, I think it was worth it. I actually think it was worth it. I could have quickened another one, but. I'm gonna do that next turn. Try to get two of these guys close to each other so we can make better use out of a fireball. I don't have invisible. At least I don't think I do. All right, we got symbiotic entity going right now. No, we lost our concentration on that. What the hell is this guy doing, man? Leeching the psychic energy. You receive a plus one bonus to armor class. Deal an additional one to four psychic damage per creature he's connected to. This guy has a plus 10 to saving throws, so it's actually a bad idea to do fireball on him, probably. All right, I think we're going to have to... Um, this guy leaves us no choice. We're going to have to... Wild shape here. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I think it might not be a bad idea. If I can... Hold on. If I can get out... We're going to wild shape next turn. 36 damn it. Oh no, my spirit guardians is gone. Okay, I'm focusing now. We're doing too much multitasking there for a second. Now we're good game over it is game over let's go baby Double opportunity attack right here. Taking the opportunity to attack. Here we go. Let's go. Forgot I had shield. In flame. You gotta be shitting me. Ah. Wow, that music is so badass in the background.
Okay, nice. I'm good with that. Just didn't want him to go after my sorcerer. Should have moved him close to Shadowheart. Damn, charm never works against this guy. Plus 10 to saving throws. Just can't beat it, you know?
glad you came to your senses. Now leave, before the others come for us. Swift as my feet can carry me. I have one res scroll left. Scribe scroll system. You don't like Shadowheart. She judges you for being evil, but does evil things. Step lightly. I don't want to use my resurrection scroll on Danton right now. When the wearer deals thunder, lightning, or radiant damage, they inflict two turns of reverberation. Minus one penalty to strength, dex, con, saving through. When the entity has four or more turns, takes one to four thunder damage. That's Danton stuff right there, so we're going to leave that right there for a second. I don't have a level 3 spell slot to revive him, and I don't want to use my last resurrection scroll. What now? Let's have a look. When you inflict condition, gain arcane synergy for two turns. Weapon attacks deal additional damage equal to affected entity spellcasting ability modifier. All right, potion of angelic slumber. Well, that is a, this is such a good potion. I've used it in so many situations. Probably going to be super useful on tactician too if I'm running low on food supplies. Literally, you just need two turns or 12 seconds of in-game time and your character will basically get the benefits of a full long rest and get all their spell slots back. So good. When you succeed a saving throw, the foe that caused the throw takes 1 to 4 psychic damage. Githyanki also gained a plus 1 bonus to intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. Damn, man, there's just some crazy gear in this game. Ten levels of Evocation Wizard and two levels of Warlock. Eldritch Blast damage bonus can include your Intelligence bonus and Charisma with Invocation for Charisma. Plus, the beams will always do half damage if they miss. You like Shadowheart and Githyanki form? That's actually a really good amulet, too. So when the wearer of one of your cantrips deals acid, cold, fire, lightning, add your spellcasting modifier. Okay, never mind. It's, it's not bad if you don't have anything else. Playing as like a wizard or a sork. Or actually, yeah, no. Warlocks don't need it as much. Skin burster. No traps, please. On my way. We'll get Danton back in a second. Don't worry about him. He's fine. Is this it? Seems a little underwhelming for a holy relic. Lathanda bids the setting sun a fond farewell. The setting sun? Lathanda blesses the rising bountiful sun.
Lathanda bids the setting sun a fond farewell. Oh my god, I succeeded in the athletics check with... I ex What? I succeeded in the athletics check with my sorcerer? Dude, I did that like... I couldn't pass it with any other character before. That's insane. In my sorcerer... In my other run, I couldn't pass it. Statues revealed a hidden do 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 what is this? What a day. Danton, you stay dead. That's Getting good. sick of you. Danton's right at home being dead. Angelic potions, the higher level ones which make slumber give you the effects of a long rest. I was like, what are you telling me, game? That's crazy. All my strength characters couldn't pass that athletics check. I mean, if you guys are wondering another way that you can get the statue to move, you can shoot it with Firebolt. You can cast Grease on it. I think that also works too. And then you'll, it'll actually be able to move, but... And you gotta just set the statues, one aiming at the west, one, aim, one aiming at the east to represent the rising sun and the setting sun. Incredible. Completely untouched. It looks frozen in time. No, don't level up. Not time. Why not level up? Because I don't like leveling up. I'm going to stay at level 5 for this entire playthrough. Glory! No! Dude! What's up with this guy and wanting to level up? Unbelievable! What a loser! We don't level up in this game. I guess if you double click the portrait, it makes you want to level up. Wow. Oh, my sentient amulet is speaking to me right now. Thou shalt return to me. Thou shalt have my blessing. Okay. You feel it. Oh. The ornate mace hovers before you, suspended in a shaft of brilliant Man, light. Man, it's such a, a badass one. A precise weapon. piece of amber flecked with crimson is set in the handle, emitting a radiance all its own. This mace must be the legendary blood of Lathander. The amber is said to contain the blood of the morning you love lord it. himself. So good for Shadowheart. Take the mace. You feel your patron's presence nearby. It hums with an unfamiliar anxiety. Man, Taking the patron doesn't like it. Taking a holy weapon would be diabolical indeed, but the consequences... Disastrous. Is there consequences to it? Take the mace anyway. What's the worst that could happen? Oh shit.
This is on top of the temple. This did not. In motion. All within these walls are doomed to destruction unless you act. Bruh, that didn't happen on my on my first character. Oh crap! I just ended turn. That's okay. Where's my character? Oh my god, dude! Four turns remaining. Escape the crash or disarm the device. <laughs> what? Dude. Oh, we got to see what happens. We we got to see what happens now. Hold on, let me hit F5. I actually can't even leave this. Interesting. That was awesome. That was so cool. That definitely didn't happen on my first character. All right, but I got to go to the bathroom really, really bad. I'm happy that we ended on that, and uh, I'll continue the stream maybe tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern. We'll see how much I get done of the Let's Play tonight. That was awesome. How many of you guys have experienced that on your run? I see a lot of people in chat saying that they haven't seen that yet. I wonder what we can do to actually get out of that. It would have been impossible, because if I move my other characters up to try to help, they wouldn't get there in three turns. So I think the only way to do that would have been to have my characters up there close to it, but not up in it with me. And then only my main character would have been trapped on the inside, maybe. You didn't see that before? You had that, Jeremy? You have to have your group? Okay. Well, that was pretty awesome. Misty Step and Dash. I wonder if you can Misty Step out of there. I don't have Misty Step on my character, though. So I was stuck in there. I didn't have any way to get out. I need to watch to see what happens. Yeah, you have to kill the four diamonds. Yeah, I was trying to target those from the inside, but there's a barrier going around, so it seems like you do need your party members in there to shoot the four diamonds down, so. Really cool, though. Okay, you guys have a wonderful Sunday evening. You guys missed uh, today's episode. Episode 20 was out for the Let's Play. Things got a little crazy at Flow Gears Fireworks, let me say that. And uh, tomorrow's Let's Play episode is one of my favorite gameplay sessions that I've ever had, probably in a CRPG in my entire life. We go down into a dungeon, a special dungeon that deals with the Lord of Murder himself. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, Misty Step does work? Cool. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Mitch, for the donos. And the gifted memberships. Timothy! Oh, oh yeah, I already read that one. Okay, for a minute I thought I forgot. Anzac, thanks for the five. J Rambles, Universe. Appreciate you, man. And Mad Nagatu, thanks for the 20 euros. Goodbye. I wonder if the uh, the crest item would work if I put it inside that. The, uh, the Lathander crest that I took from above. We'll have to try a few things next session. But I really have to go to the bathroom. Goodbye.
Goodbye, Tardis. Great job modding today. You know what? You're in for a raise. We're going to give Tardis a raise. You did a fantastic job today. See ya, Shannon. Bethal, Sully, Wrath. Later. Any? See ya, Richard.